So in this video, I want to talk about this, how cell size relates to cells and the ideal cell size for cells. And so if you ever wondered why cells are so small and you need to view them under a microscope, you'll learn why that's the case in this video. So first, we ha kind of have to understand a little bit about math. So as a cell increases in size, the volume increases more than surface area. surface area. And so let's take an example of a small cell. versus a bigger cell. Of course, these aren't drawn to proportion. Let's say this is 10 units long, whatever units you want to say. And this is 20. So the diameter is 10 for the small one and the large one is 20. So the surface area for the small one is going to be 600 units while the big one is going to be 2400 units. And then let's do volume for the small one is going to be a thousand while for the big one it's 8,000. And as you can see proportionally 600 to 1,000 the surface area to volume ratio is greater so a cell needs more surface area to get stuff done. More surface area to volume ratio. And so as a result you can imagine cells need to exchange material with their environment so they need to do they need to take in nutrients excrete waste and allow for gas exchange so if the surface area isn't big it's not gonna function well and its gas exchange waste excretion and nutrient uptake will decrease and so quite simply you have to remember that cells can't function beyond a certain size, beyond a certain size. And so as a result, ideally, it's you need cells to be very small. And so there is a limit on cell size. Also, another thing is because the cell a big cell would need a lot more nutrients the surface area won't be as great so the surface area um, will allow for very slow exchange that can't meet the basic cell needs to survive and so pretty much what you need to take out of this video is that there are limits on cell size and so as a cell grows or gets bigger the volume increases more than the surface area. So if it helps you to remember the surface area of a cell is proportional to the square of its diameter while the volume is proportional to the cube of its diameter. Essentially what that's saying is the volume is going to increase a lot quicker than the surface area. And so if the surface area to volume ratio is not large then it's gonna have less exchange between the cell is gonna have less exchange between itself and the environment and as a result it's not gonna meet the cell needs and pretty much it just the cell can't function beyond a certain size and so that's why they're really small and so I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like it and share it with your friends.